Billy used to play with the Leonard Skinner band. And there was a street and a sky survivor. And Jesus got a hold of him. Billy, why don't you tell him about that for a minute there, buddy? Well, it's a testimony. It's a, I'll make it a very brief one. It's just something that, uh, you know, is, was going to happen one way or the other. You know, when I was back in the old days with Leonard Skinner, you know, I thought that all the fame and the glory and everything was the gift of God. You know, it was all this money and all this material stuff that he gave me. You know, all these riches and stuff and cars and just horses and boats and all kinds of stuff. And I thought that was God. You know, little did I know, it was a, le- it was a devil lying to me the whole time. And, uh, you know, it, it seemed like when I was in an airplane crash, it seemed to me like I should have realized then, you know, that God put me on this earth for a purpose, you know, and, and, he, and he kept me here. He kept me alive for a purpose, and I didn't realize that I was still blind. And so I kept on drinking and smoking and sinning, living a life, an ungodly life of sin. And I just still, you know, didn't, it didn't hit me, you know, what the, what the heck I was still here for. So uh, I um, later on joined the Roston Collins band. We formed a band, and I just kept on going, you know, sinning and sinning, letting the devil lie to him. He had a big bond. I mean, he had a, he had a big hold on me, a big hold on my life. And it finally took, finally, uh, my last DWI, a little over a year ago, it finally took me that to, I got put in jail, Clay County Jail. And, uh, and uh, that eight, I had a TV set. I was in an eight-man cell by myself i always i like to share this sort of funny but uh it's it's the lord actually i know it's the lord i was in an eight-man jail cell by myself and uh and they had a tv a black and white tv i had a bunch of books and stuff and had a black and white tv that was on the other side of the bars and and uh the reason i was by myself by the way is because i didn't have to get my hair cut and uh, so they didn't want me with any of the other inmates so uh yeah i had this back scratcher too this long back scratcher and i kept putting a back scratcher through the bars and pulling the tv up it's against the rule to change the channels so I kept pulling the TV up and changing the channels on it. And the second day I was there, uh, I got caught doing it. It's against the rules. So they took the TV away, they took my back scratch away, and they took every book I had to read away. They took everything I had away to read, except for one book that brother, a brother Randy Cutlip, Randy Cutlip gave to me was the Bible. The whole time I was there, all I, all I did, did was read the Bible. And I just felt the anointing of the Spirit come in on me in jail. It was a thing I did by myself, but then I got reborn shortly after that. And, the next thing you know, here I am going to New Covenant Ministries and meeting Vision, these lovely brother friends of mine, men of God, and uh, and um, I'm a loyal member of New Covenant, and I know who my Lord is now. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.